the level of communication, i.e. the way people speak to each other, is, is lacking, you know. It's just non-existent. People don't know how to communicate with each other by opening their mouth. A rofe, I've got to give you a rofe, I'll say. I'm a garret, I'll give you. You ain't got a bottle of bees for sale, have you? We're full. I'm looking for a carpet for the bottle, you know. Sell, you got a bowl. How much a noddy? No, I'll give a noddy. Go on, whiffle. Half a stretch of piece. That's what you call snatching a bargle. If we say that we're going to do it, customers get their tickets. If they're prepared to run with us, we'll supply them. 18 people were arrested today in a series of police raids as part of a crackdown on ticket touts. Tickets on the black market for £50,000. In a series of raids throughout central London, the war began on the ticket touts. As part of a crackdown on the multi-million pound touting industry. This is Al Coulston. He's a broker. He trades in the entertainment business. This is Slim Cooper. He's a broker too. Makes me absolutely disgusted in the public and especially the press. How they talk about us, criticise us, what scum we are. Who do they always pick on? The town. It's always a. No matter where you go in the world, there's an angle, and it, invariably it's a British spiv that gets stuck up, isn't it? Yeah. But why do we get stuck up? Because we're the best in the world at our job. Al and Slim say they can get you a ticket for absolutely anything, and they're going to prove it. The Stones are playing Wembley Arena. It's been sold out for months, unless you call Harley Street Ticket Brokers. Harley Street, and how may I help you? Now, you are going on Saturday. You may not have your tickets yet, but you are going, so it's not fair to use the word supposed to be. You bear with one second, I'll just look it up on the computer. Good morning, Harley Street, and how may I help you? Harley Street ticket brokers aren't actually in Harley Street. In fact, oh, they're yes, not Mr. even Harley. in London. Thank you very much but it's the right back. image. Bear with one second. Oh, I'm afraid the person you need to speak to is in prison at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't like the look of my bill with that, Ted. Fucking hell. Good morning, Harley Street, and how may I help you? Do you know who you spoke to? You recognise my voice. With well, all due respect, you know, um, I mean, I'm a Londoner, dear. Um, you know, we've all got London accents in our office because we're based in London. You've been on the trading standards. Mondays, you always get the Monday morning syndrome. Right, where's my tickets? Where's my tickets? Because I ain't been able to get hold of you over the weekend. Um, I mean, but to be fair, having said that, these customers, you know, most of them booked way back in December. So what? We're talking nearly nine months ago. Thanks for the interest free loan. That's all I can say. Oh, gee, some of the bollocks I've had to listen to for some of these people. I'll tell you what, if they phone once, they must have phoned 101 times. Slim's friend and rival, you, you know, Al Once Coulston you get on in life and all that and Stone's you run a business, gig. I've come from the streets and looked after my pennies and made them pounds. And and even now, I still have to meet customers that want tickets for the Rolling Stones. It's, it's amazing, it, it really is, because I've worked all of them. Michael Jackson, Tina Turner, Madonna, and, and followed them around the world. It's just, the ticket business is either absolutely superb, or it's completely on the floor. Just put a bleak black marker pen through that word that says, Ooter. Just someone that complains relentlessly. If you're an Ooter, we'll mark it on your order. So customers, beware. Hello, can I help you? Okay, well what it is, it's not a secret how we're getting the tickets. We're actually getting them from the guest list. We'll actually have a colleague of ours there, and if you want to meet him, he will actually hand you your tickets in person. All right? Thanks a lot, Mr Woods. Bye now. Guess this my arse. Slim's 700 Just, tickets have been bought from an army of low-level towns. The markup on the ticket is 100%. He's made at least 30 Barcelona. grand from the Stones Yeah, it'll be one, two, five each, sir. It is, sir. We have accommodation. What sort of standard of hotel are you used to staying in? A lilo on the beach? <laughs> Freestyle? Oh, what, someone pumps it up for you? <laughs> nah, sorry, sir. 
That'd be ticket only. When I do see certain people in the ticket business running around, and you think, you went all around the world, Olympic Games, Munich, every, everything, World Cups all over the world. You see them all working, and yet you think they still come back to Wembley. Yeah, all set together, this lot. It's all right, they can all talk to each other, can't they? And what lies did he tell you? And what excuse did you get? Well, what they seem to forget is they've got their tickets. They're watching the Rolling Stones. Right, carry a bag, brush the Hampsteads, and we're off. Put in the same for his bag, I think. You want to be getting mugged on the way to the post that was 40 grand worth of tickets, didn't you? Slim's got £40,000 worth of tickets in his shopping bag just in the nick of time, five days before the gig. Any spare tickets? Any spare tickets? Anybody need tickets? 85 quid are good enough, block 27. How much? Midway. How much? 70 quid. McGarrett I want to give. Hey, give us 60 quid. McGarrett I'll give. Absolutely dead look. Everyone standing around, arms folded, exactly like me. Loads of singles, loads of singles. You're lucky if you find them, might find a pair. Any spare ones? Any spare tickets? No, we're, we're not doing tickets. No, I'm looking to see if you've got any spare ones I can buy cheap. How you been, boy? You all right? All right, yeah, 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 good. I need your fucking number, don't I? I ain't been a bit for a bit, have I? Outside well, Wembley, the spivs are busy trading. Up in the bar, I'm Slim yeah. and Al still get a I'm always in the bar, yeah, I'm always there. It's fucking ain't worth a dollar here. I oh, know, it ain't. Well, I could have pulled up there, I'll just see what I could have pulled up there, a couple of bodies, but I think a geezer had a pair over there, 83 quid, as you can buy for... I just bought two of a Baldy Joker, a THO piece. Now we've got to find four bits of shit, an oddie, and three to go in with. That'd be a fucking miracle. Yeah. All right, Steve, you got a bowl? Yeah. We're full. Tickets, <laughs> Go on. I'm looking for carpet for the bowl, you know. Are you mad? I'm serious. So you got a bowl? What, you got any shit? I've got shit and I've got thing. I've got two, but I give the right money for that pair. 45 quid each, they are rubbish. Yeah. Slim! Here, how much, how much a noddy? How much a noddy? What's that, um, No, give, what do you want to give about a McGarrett? No, I'll give a noddy. I've, I've bought a noddy. Oh, you want a pair? There's a pair there. A pair. Oh, that'll do, mate. Go on, whiffle. How, how much, much then? Um, half a stretch of piece. 120, yeah? <laughs> Come on. Get him, will you? I've fucking done it, haven't I? Take 100 quid. You ain't give a lot of money for them. Oh, it's 100 quid. No, no, 120, 120. They're absolute no, shit. No, straight, straight. I'll give no straight. Yeah, hey, we'll wait till later. You know you'll be wiping your ass with them later. Yeah, give us it, give us it, give us it. Hey, I was under quid. Come on, done. Hey, yeah, that's what you call snatching a bargle. Cheers, 20 quid for me. I managed to literally put my hand in a ticket tout's pocket and got them for 100 quid and sold them for 120 to another ticket tout. You know, 20 quid. It's all about sniping. But it does get you buzzing and your ego going when you go and work the street. Rock and roll is easy. Slim and Al's boast is that they can get you in any no matter how exclusive. But can they crack the royal enclosure of Ascot? Can you open the door, please? I've actually got a warrant for entry. This is Slim Cooper being raided by trading 